Hi everyone, welcome to the Alcohol Ink Tile lesson. And I'm going to go over the materials that you're going to be using. These materials will be located out in the hall, uh, socially distanced. It was the hardest part of this is kind of um, logistics of where we're going to get our materials and such. So I figured the easiest place would be out in the hall with my art carts spaced apart with different materials on it. So the first cart, you're going to get a toweling and your tile. And then along the way you'll see the other materials. Some of the carts will have um, alcohol inks in different colors. There's a whole bunch to choose from. I just set out a couple that I'm going to use for my demonstration. You're going to have a little cup uh, with alcohol in it. And the type of alcohol you're going to use is isopropyl 91%. This is the recommended um, percentage to use with alcohol inks. This is all that I have today. Because of uh, COVID, I could not find any in the stores anywhere. So I also have this big bottle of 70%. It's probably not going to work as well, but we can certainly give it a try. There's two of these needle tools, and this has um, alcohol in it that you can use, so obviously we're going to have to share. There's this little dabbing tool that you can use with different uh, pieces of cotton to replace it. And there will be paint brushes for you to use with little, and I can't seem to find mine right this second, little trays to put the, um, the alcohol ink in, if that's something you'd like to try. All right, oh, the other ingredient is our alcohol blending solution and I'll have a couple bottles of those. So the first thing, well, let me show you some examples first. So here's one that I did yesterday and you're just going to notice how the, the colors kind of blend and flow together. And these are just randomly made. There's a lot of ways to use alcohol ink but in this lesson we're just doing the easiest version and that's just kind of dropping down the colors and letting the ink do its thing. I'll show you a couple ways to manipulate the color but we're going to keep it simple for this lesson. Alright, so after you have your tile the first thing you want to do is take the blending solution and um, I'm just going to put some on and I know this is probably difficult to see in the um, the video because it's wet, but trust me, it's there. You can probably see the little bit of shine on it. And then from there, you're ready to go. So take a couple colors, and like I said, there's a couple ways to apply it. The easiest, quickest way is to just drop it on, and you'll see it sit there for a moment, and then it'll start to spread. And just go along and add the colors that interest you. A little goes a long way and you're going to notice that uh, colors interact with each other differently. And a lot of this is just experimenting with how all of this flows and moves together. These tiles make great gifts. All right, so I have some set down. One way that you can manipulate this is just slightly tilting um, the tile while everything is still wet to get those colors moving around. So that's one way. You can also, and you won't be able to see me do this, but you're going to blow on it. And that's going to also spread out the colors for you. The other thing you can do is uh, use a paintbrush. And you'll want to dab it in the alcohol. And you're just going to kind of, however you do it. And just wipe it on a piece of toweling when you want to change colors. But notice how when you put alcohol on it, um, the color pulls away. Now on paper, when you do that, it looks differently. So this is on a tile, a non-porous surface. This is on special paper. This is called Yepo paper. And it's going to behave differently on this. 
So it looks more like a watercolor effect when you add the alcohol and spread it around. All right, so back to this. So now, let's see, you can continue adding color. And the nice thing about this is if you do something that you don't like, you can, for the most part, fix it. All right. I have a million colors to, to try. So this here, let's see what this does. And you do have to kind of sit and be patient with it, let it move, because you can see that white is still moving. Now these, this tool here, this is going to drop out little um, droplets of the alcohol ink. Not the alcohol ink, the, <laughs> the alcohol, the 91% alcohol. And just see how that moves. Again, maybe go by tilting it. You can also take this tool, and this is, uh, I don't really know the name, it's a blotter, and there's a lot of color here. I kind of want to maybe dab it. And you can see the texture that that leaves behind. And again, if you don't like something, you can just go back and rework it. So this is basically what you're going to be doing. And it's fun. And I think the hardest part is knowing when to stop. That's always the hard part in art. When do I stop? Because blending these colors can be so much fun. And you'll get your favorite colors that you like to use. and layer them, see what happens with that. All right, now for um, my video here, I'm gonna stop at this part and maybe I'll just blow on it a little bit. So when I did the blowing on it, it really spread out this um, purple. All right, so for the sake of my video, I'm going to leave it to dry. And then um, I'm just going to bring in one of my dry ones here. So this one is all dry. And I could go back in and play around with this. So if I wanted to go back and say, you know what, I really don't like that dark spot. What's going to happen if I do a couple drops of the alcohol there? Oops, I'm spilling all my good alcohol. So I can wait, let it do its thing. And then when everything is dry, the last thing you're going to do is take this varnish. It is a glossy clear varnish. And of course, we will be doing this outside. And you're going to spray it. Now spraying the top of this will alter the color a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. I just wanted you to be aware of that. So. That's it. Have fun and um, space yourself out in the hall and I hope you enjoy the lesson.